This is what we're putting in the freeze dryer today. Black cherry gummy bears and Skittles. still do the 15 minute freeze time to get the chamber ready and that's what we're waiting on all right and I will bring you up here and show you focus in on that all right now that the chambers ready straighten you out now that the chamber's ready, we're going to initialize the candy mode and we're going to load the trays. Once we get the trays loaded, we'll close the drain valve and hit continue. Stand by. Put some skittles on the bottom, the rest will be gummy bears. the temperature gets up to 150 degrees the five minute timer will start so we'll be back in five all right welcome back to five minute tray warming time is up it goes directly to drying i have it set for two hours that's the standard on it and as you can hear and see the vacuum pump is now running so in two hours we will come back and i will show you gummy bears and skittles freeze dried You can see them real well, um, but that's what they look like right now in the freeze dryer. Alright. So, once the timer is done, I'll bring you all back. Uh, we'll take them out and we'll package them up. See you then. Here they are 20 minutes in, they're already puffing up. You can see the Skittles are splitting. Um, some of the gummy bears don't look too bad, but other ones, oh, the shed over here. There we go. Other ones are starting to deform a little bit. So the process doesn't take long to get started, and it really, candy mode takes a couple hours and you're done, depending on the candy. come back when it's done all right welcome back uh the dry time's over uh this is a screen you get when it's over we we're about two hours and nine minutes into it there um what i'm going to do is uh, open the drain valve check them and by the looks of it everything's pretty much freeze dried so pretty sure they're done candy like i said two hours it's, it's done everything freeze dries different so if you get a different brand of gummy bears like I did this time, they look different than the gummy bears I've done previous, but I'm pretty sure they're all done. But we're going to check them here. Um, stand by and 
I will pop the drain valve and let the uh, vacuum out of the tank here. As you can see there, the Skittles are definitely done. Um, these bears are still soft, so I'm gonna run them a bit longer. That one's on the crunchier side, but yeah, these are soft. So I'm gonna continue to run these and, uh, well, I'm gonna leave them in there because there's bears on that tray. But yeah, this is what a tray of Skittles looks like. isn't done you're gonna start a new candy batch um, it's already turned on for the candy cycle you're gonna hit continue we're gonna skip the tray warming and we're gonna go right into drying and since I'm gonna to have to go to work here I'm gonna add a bunch of time you can't over dry freeze dry anything 13 hours should be sufficient when I get home then we will uh, pop this back open and they definitely should be done by then so we'll see you then all right welcome back um, we are definitely done at this point we got 12 hours into it which it doesn't normally take this long I just let it run because I was at work um, but right now we're going to crack the valve open and pull the candy out so let me put you back on the table here and I will do that. As you can see, they are definitely crunchy now. That is a uh, freeze-dried gummy bear. And these are freeze-dried Skittles. These are the smoothie ones, I believe. So as an end product, this is what we're looking at. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, uh, anything you wanna see freeze dried, uh, leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. We need all the subscribers we can get. Uh, I want to monetize the channel, so all the help you can give me, I appreciate it. Um, that being said, I'm not going to ramble on. Have a good evening. See you next video.